All right, guys, part two. Um, you saw in the last video I uh, split up all this uh, softwood right here. We're going to get to stacking. Um, in the last video, we determined I have 23 minutes into splitting this. So we're going to stack it and uh, see what we got. This will tell us exactly uh, how much split wood we produced. Okay, so this go around, I'm going to try to get my stack set up to where it's 8 foot from end to end here to get a good starting base. Remember I was saying some of the pieces are longer, 20 inches on the dock. So, I'm going to get started stacking here and get back with you. Alright guys, so in typical me fashion, got her all stacked up without you. Pretty boring to watch anyways. So this first stack here should be pretty much dead on a face cord here. Let's see. Good in the end of this. Eight foot. Let's see. Huh. Side's a little low. Let's see on the side. Yeah, see this side's a little high. I think it's just the way it's sitting on the hill, but you can see this is around 50 inches. I don't know why that one said like 42. This is like 42. Do a grab over here. Hmm. Not the easiest to hook onto stuff. One-handed here. Not at all, actually. Oh jeez. Jeez. Let's see. Let's just do it to the ground. That's. Right around at 47, 48. Do another one right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's saying 50-ish. So, I'm going to still say it's around a face cord, even though that says 42 on this end. Uh, I think there's a bump there where the, uh, the tower is built. All right, so you can see this stack right here in front. Same exact length, so it's 8 foot. I don't have to measure that. And we'll do the uh, height on this. So, it's at 18, that's, uh, that's like a foot and a half, 18, uh, that's like a foot, uh, it's like 16, so, for the sake of argument, I'm just going to round this down to a foot, so to be sure it's at least what I say it is. Like I said too before, pieces, that's like 14 and a half, 18, some of these are up to like 20, you see. I don't know what's going on my camera right now, guys. I know it's kind of blurry. But uh, basically, come out with a stack, 8 foot by, uh, I figure it's 16 by five to five and a half foot. So let's go crunch some numbers on a piece of paper to show you what I'm uh, talking about. And we'll figure out how long it exactly took me to, to split, if I kept going, to split a quart of this. All right, guys, um, with the help of my new computer setup, I just set it up about two months ago, really enjoying it. Dual monitor set up. Start breaking some numbers down and see where we landed, okay? So the length of the stack was eight foot. It was uh, five foot conservatively. And I figured 1.33 foot uh, long. So I figured for 16 inches, you could see that right there equals that. 16 inches uh, length on the logs, 12 inches per foot, ends, ends uh, with uh, 1.33 feet. So you multiply these all together to get your uh, cubic footage, right? That took 23 minutes. So you get this number, right? That's how many uh, cubic feet we produced in 23 minutes right here. So what does that mean? 
So, right, 23 minutes or 60 minutes in an hour. So that equals 0.3833 uh, indefinite threes there, hours to produce um, our 53.3 cubic feet, right? So I set up a little proportion. Took us this long to produce this much cubic footage, right? So I'm setting it to one hour, and we're trying to figure out how much we can produce in one hour, right? So I did my multiplication. Uh, when you do a proportion, you cross multiply here. So this is what I ended up with, equal to uh, our one hour times 53.33 cubic foot, right? So now I'm solving for x. So I'm dividing this side by 0.3833 and that side also. Right. <clears throat> so I ended up with our rate as uh, 139 cubic foot per hour. That's what we were producing. So it turns out we were pumping out more than a quarter an hour, which I, I'm kind of surprised at. But like I said, th that was nicer wood, and that was uh, getting it pretty good. All right, so I was like, well, okay, we're producing a little more in an hour. So how much wood can you split in an hour if you want to look at it that way? So I built myself another proportion. One hour, we're producing 139 uh, cubic feet. Okay, so how long is it going to take us to make 128 cubic feet, right? So same thing, cross multiply and divide your 128 cubic feet by 139. Yep. And I came up with, uh, it takes us 55 minutes to split a cord. So... So, I know that was kind of a whole lot of hoopla for uh, for an end result, but like I said, doing slightly better than a quarter an hour. So, I, I've like I said, I've been wanting to sit down and figure this all out for a long time. Had some time to do it. Had some wood right here at the house. Nice straight stuff to, to work with. Um, that's close to an ideal scenario. You could do that too out of a pile if you have a guy feeding you rounds. You know, as you're splitting one, he's fishing another out of the pile. We would do that all the time. So uh, you could you could get these numbers the same same way there. You don't have to stack it right next to the splitter uh, unless you're by yourself. So all right, guys. I hope that answered some questions. Um, I've had people ask before. Uh, this is you know written down. I know it's not perfect, um, but it's it's as close as perfect as I'm going to get anyway. <laughs> but all right, guys. Uh, I'll throw this up real quick. I'd like to start making some more videos here as I get time. It is firewood season, but. Uh, I'm, I'm probably doing a, a quarter of what I was. I can't even keep up with the uh, repeat customers I'm getting. I'm turning some of those away um, this year, and I'm not advertising. I've always advertised years past. So, all right, until next time, guys. Like I said, I hope you uh, you enjoyed this little little video. It didn't take me long to make.